Hello, welcome back. I'm Mr. Charlie and this is SAT2 Physics Review. Today's topic is momentum and impulse. Now remember last time we talked about acceleration and force and how F equals MA showed that forces or unbalanced forces cause accelerations. Today we're going to talk about impulse, which is very similar, about how forces cause changes in velocity and therefore changes in momentum. Momentum is very fundamentally related to velocity. Now you might say, isn't that the same thing? And it pretty much is, right? Because a change in velocity equals an acceleration, because acceleration is defined as a change in velocity. But this is a slightly more general method, because rather than um, calculating the group by means of kinematics, we can calculate it straight from the force. We calculate the change in, quant change in momentum, the change in velocity, straight from the force. And this is a little bit more powerful, a little bit more general of a method, because now remember with kinematics, we could only calculate these quantities when the acceleration was not changing, under constant acceleration, which implies a constant force. In this case, we'll be able to find the area under graphs with changing forces, and this will let us uh, calculate the change in velocity of objects with an unbalanced variable force acting on them. So it's a little bit more, a little bit more fundamental, a little bit more general. Um, and this is related to momentum because, like I said, velocity and momentum are very similar. You already probably know this from our everyday use of the velocity, uh, of momentum, excuse me. We usually say that fast objects, big cars and big trucks, have a lot of momentum. And frequently because they're going fast, an object that's not moving doesn't have much momentum. Right? This is common sense. Um, but of course, physics, like everything, uh, has a very specific definition for the word momentum. And we're going to be working with that today. So, let's get started. So momentum. Velocity is not the best quantity to think about when we're analyzing motion in terms of speed and force. Um, Newton, in fact, thought that momentum was what he called the fundamental velocity quantity. Um, so rather than velocity, he thought about momentum. And you can see there's a difference, see there's some kind of concept lacking when you think about this. You know, would you rather get hit in the head with a grape moving at 3 meters per second or a watermelon moving at 3 meters per second? They have the same speed, but obviously I'd rather get hit in the head with a grape. Um, because the masses are different. So obviously the mass has something to do with the force of impact. And just thinking about the fast object, which object is faster, isn't really going to make a difference. I mean, sure, I'd rather get hit with a, a slower grape than a faster grape, but you all, that's only because the masses are the same. So we know that momentum is related to mass and also related to velocity. And here's a great example of why you wouldn't want to get hit in the head with a watermelon. Look at the look at the force of this explosion, right? We have watermelon paraphernalia going everywhere, everywhere. So this is an example of how much momentum is in a watermelon, and you know a grape or a small object would never have this much this much force going on. It would have to be going a hundred times as fast to pack even a little piece of the punch that um, a watermelon exploding would. So let's define momentum. Think about it as the amount of damage or uh, force in a collision. So it's the amount of you know, damage something can do when it collides. Now, a large truck moving slowly, think like a huge 1,000 kilogram truck moving at one meter per second, um, has a lot of mass and it can do a lot of damage. Even if it's moving very, very slowly, it can still push down a wall. You know? A small bullet has a very high velocity and can also do a lot of damage. And now the, the large quantity here is the velocity. So even though it's a small bullet, it's moving very, very fast, it can do a lot of damage. So we would define that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Okay? And what is this good for? Well, let's do an example. How fast must a small car 